everybody. Old Diego here again. It's uh, been uh, about eight days since my last video and some of you are asking me for an update, which I'm happy to give. Uh, quite a bit's happened in the last week or so. Um, as you know, <clears throat> Russia is uh, looking pretty scary right now. Possible invasion of Ukraine is inevitable. Uh, something's going down. And uh, I think the U.S. military, though, is ready. They're they seem pretty confident. Um, Biden's doing a good job of uh, not backing down or anything. You know, of course, the military brass are in charge of our response. Uh, thank God we live in a democracy where... Not just one person can declare war. And uh, with with NATO, and uh, I think we can put pressure on Russia to <clears throat> at least really seriously consider not doing this invasion. You know, and I'm kind of upset too with um, the Ukrainian uh, president. You know, he's, uh, on one hand, he's saying, oh, it's inevitable. They're going to invade. They're going to invade. And then on the other hand, he's telling the U.S. to tone down our response, to tone down our response that we're, they're on the brink of war. You can't have it both ways. You either, you're either in it or you're not, you know. I, uh, I'd hate to see the... Uh, start of something that could get very, very serious. Anyway, uh, so I've been preparing. I got the bug out van. Perfect. It's all loaded and ready to go. As a matter of fact, today me and the little lady just got back from Ensenada. The bug out van, the 2002 Trailblazer, ran perfect all the way down to Ensenada. We spent the night. I talked to my buddies in the marina, uh, looking for a barco with uh, that needs a crew, a boat that needs a crew, and uh, you know, getting to know everybody again, like uh, I did a few years ago when we had a boat down there. But this time, I don't want to be the captain. I don't want to be responsible for a big boat in Mexico. From living in Mexico for the last 15 years, I've learned something. You really don't want to have anything of value <laughs> that uh, the Mexican government or the police can take from you. They'll they'll find a way to hold it against you, you know, make you pay. So I don't want to have a boat, especially a boat, because uh, they're very regulated here. Anyway, um, so we're working on becoming a crew member for a, a boat that we can live on and drive my van back and forth from Tijuana to Ensenada. And it's all loaded and ready to go if something were to happen. I've pretty much got it ready. I got my spear guns in there, my wetsuit, my diving gear, my propane tanks, my stove, my camping stuff, extra water, food, you know. It's about as ready as it's going to get. So, uh, other than that, let's just uh, wait and see. You know, watch the news every day. Pay close attention. Uh, you know, basically, I'm just waiting. Okay, if Russia does start the invasion, then I'm ready, you know. Why take a chance? This, you know, <laughs> the start of World War Three could be on the brink of, uh, you know, something. That's what you wait for is, is uh, telltale signs that something big is going down. You know, uh, North Korea shooting more and more missiles, ballistic missiles uh, out into the ocean, getting further and further away. They can now hit U.S. territory in Guam. You know, that, those are the telltale signs that something could go down, you know. Especially here in Southern California. I looked up on the uh, map. 
North Korea is on the uh, 40th parallel, I believe. And it comes right out above Sa uh, San Francisco, California. And uh, you got a little uh, windage in there with a missile. And it could, it could veer south and hit L.A. or San Diego. Uh, just got to be prepared for stuff like this, folks. I hate to say it, but... In today's world, nothing is safe. So that's all I've been up to is just uh, me and the little woman here. Uh, we got our place in, uh, in TJ, but we're ready to go to Ensenada at any time. Been checking out rental houses and places on boats. Uh, you know, little by little. So just ask yourself, what are you doing? Have you done anything different this past, uh, this new year? You know, the world is a dangerous place. It's getting more dangerous every day. So just be prepared. What harm does it hurt to have a bug out place, to have a bug out vehicle, to have your plan, you know, if something goes down? Or are you going to be sitting like a loaf of rainbow bread, fat, dumb, and happy, and you don't even know what hits you? Okay, so basically that's all that's going down with me and the little lady and our families are fine. Everybody's fine. So I uh, just wanted to give an update that slowly, slowly things are changing in the world and we're, we're pretty ready for it. So thanks for watching folks. Uh, take care. Wishing you a... Uh, a good day, a good year, and God bless everyone.